Happy April Fool's Day 2012. And there's Blossom. All over the place. And they're closing the roads. Anyway, unsurprisingly, I'm here for this. It's the last day of the weather supposed to be a festival, and that's no April Fool's joke. And I'm eight minutes early this time. Yeah, um, So the main street is closed, that means the buses won't go down the main street and wonder how I'm going to get home. Look at that. That's a pint of Evans bitter from the Rumley Brewery which is a so blind out and I don't know, 4.2% alcohol by volume. That is lovely. Mmm. Mmm. That's easily a B plus. That's a session ale. I wouldn't say par excellence, but close enough. Great. Nice sunny. I've just realised that I need to put the clock forward on this thing. And I've just ordered a, a full English breakfast. <laughs> Never had the bacon, so it's extra sausages. Anyway, this is supposed to be cloudy, but it's clear. The Governor's Cider from Mar O. Pierre White, brewed by Westerns. And it's really nice. 4.8% alcohol by volume. Here's the bar. Still, apple, slight tang, easy B plus, very nice and very cold, just like outside. And um, this is number three, and um, we've gone slightly Deutsch Zerdinger, Dinger Weissbier, wheat beer. With a huge head, 5.3% alcohol by volume. Done many times before. Naturally cloudy. That's a good wheat beer. I have to give that an egg minus. You can just see it through the window. There's a. Let's try the zoom. That was a picture. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Start again. If only I had my Kindle with me. Because it tells you how to pronounce this. I've got a book on there. An e book. It tells you how to pronounce this correctly. Star up. From men, which is the same country where they invented lager. Yeah, this is Prague. This is cold. And that's how that lager should taste. Bitter. How wrong with that? B plus. 